you may not know the extent of his impact on the world of Afro-Cuban percussion, but it, he had a global effect uh, from the early days of his involvement in America, but especially in 1979 when I put together a band with Tito Puente and Batata when they traveled the world, and wherever they went, they implanted the seed of Latin music, Afro-Cuban music, and uh, it's to this day made it a global phenomenon. He had such an impact on LP, and no, no more fitting a person to pay tribute to this great man of percussion than Pequeño Johnny. Johnny has had a dramatic effect in the recent history of LP. He brought recorded music into the company. He had an incredible effect in influencing so many musicians, Puerto Rican percussionists, to embrace the LP product line. And wherever he travels the world over, he represents the company fine. He's an amazing player and very fitting in the tr tradition of uh, Batato and all he represented. So that's the deal. And now I would like to introduce the band, an amazing band you're going to have to be rehearsing for sometime now. We have from Cuba, Osmani Paredes. Lucas Curtis. <laughs> An amazing trumpet player. You must have seen him with uh, the Edith Palmieri Band. A Grammy Award winner, Brian Lynch. Yeah. Sax man, Jay Rodriguez. A young, amazing, all-around percussionist. Drum set player, everything player, Ricky Martin's drummer, Tony Escapa. Martinez is somebody that uh, is just an everything guy. He's a dancer, he's a singer of amazing proportion, and a percussionist second to none. I am grateful to know him and feel like he's family. Pedro, please come up to the stage. One of my dearest, dearest friends in the whole world, one of the greatest conga drummers ever to live, somebody who worked for 17 years with La Sonora Monseña, somebody who has, as I said before, done so much for the LP brand and for percussion around the world, currently on tour with Eddie Palmieri and a great band leader and composer in his own right, Akenu Johnny. Little Johnny. 